Hello and thanks for watching The Daily Flag. Now, I don't know if you're going to believe me when I tell you this, but on Friday night here in Nisigo, it snowed 70 centimetres. And then across Saturday and Sunday, it snowed another 60 centimetres. I know it sounds unbelievable, but I swear it's true. So conditions here in Nisigo are pretty epic at present. And they're also pretty darn good in Ferrano, where The Daily Flag team went over the weekend. We packed up the car and drove for four hours through a raging blizzard to get there but it was definitely worth it because we did get to catch up with some of the locals and do some great skiing while we were there. Check it out. Today I'd like you to meet John Aston, the manager of Rhythm Snow Sports here in Frano. Now John, it is minus 18 degrees this morning. Does it always get this cold in Frano? Uh, today is exceptionally cold, but it generally is colder than most parts in Hokkaido. And I guess that just contributes to the super dry powder around here. It sure does, yeah. <laughs> now, we went for a ski yesterday and it was amazing, but what do you like most about Ferrano? Ferrano's great. It's got a little town just two minutes from the ski resort with an abundance of restaurants and local produce. It's, it's a really great little town. And uh, I did notice when we were on the hill yesterday, practically no people. Is that normal? That's pretty normal. I mean, apart from the weekends, you get a couple extra school kids in here, but uh, no, that's, that's pretty normal. No lift lines most of the week. And I've also noticed that there's not many Westerners wandering the streets. Is it easy to get a Japanese experience here? Oh, definitely, yeah. The local people here are very strong with their culture. They're definitely, definitely a big cultural experience in, in Ferrano. Tell us a bit about the ski shop you're running here. Well, it's our second season here this year. Um, we're the only store that rents top-of-the-line gear. We rent powder skis and boards with the options to swap and change. So, yeah, we, we're doing pretty well and uh, we hope to be back again next season. Great. Well, thanks so much for chatting to me. I'll let you get back to running your shop and I'm going to go and enjoy the sunshine and hopefully we get to come back to Frano soon. Great. Thank you. The Daily Flake team will certainly be heading back to Ferrano and we'll also be heading down to Nazama Onsen and Shigakogen in February, so make sure you keep watching. But for now, we should certainly have a look at what conditions were like today around Japan thanks to snowinsurance.com.au. Here in Nisigo, it was overcast and snowing lightly, but certainly nothing like the heavy falls we saw here over the weekend. It was still very nice out there on the mountain with plenty of fresh tracks left over. It was a fine and clear day at Shigakogen. Conditions there are excellent at present and the slopes are practically deserted, which is always a bonus. They are expecting conditions to warm up slightly there during this week. Interestingly, we might also see things start to warm up a bit here in Nisiko on Wednesday as winds shift southwesterly, but then on Thursday it should be back to the very cold and snowy conditions we're used to. I'm Christy in Nisiko for the Daily Flake.